Hey guys, welcome back. Here I'm going to start a new mini series to learn Ruby on Rails and in this series along with Ruby on Rails we will see how we can work with prawn PDFs in a Rails application. We will gonna see how to download PDFs using prawn gem in Rails and how to customize it. By customizations I mean adding header and footer in prawn and creating tables inserting images using prawn gem into a pdf and many more features and i'm sure this will be going to help you a lot so let's start working on building a rails application first so open your terminal and then generate a new rails application so here you can switch into any of your work directory and there you can create the rails project so i'm into the project directory right now and i'm creating a new rails application by rails new and then blogging app okay this will generate a new rails application with name blogging app okay and what i need to do after generating this application first i need to run the bundle install and then i will create a custom home controller and then set the root path so first is cd blogging app and here run the bundle install and after installing the bundle just generate a controller like rails g controller and then home and index this will generate a home controller for your application and uh, with an index section okay so now open the project into your preferred text editor i opened it in sublime you can choose any of your choice okay and then into the config directory open the routes file and make this path as root path okay so root and then home hash index okay save this and uh, after saving this what we need to do we just need to run the server okay so sorry let's uh, run the server here first rail server and now what we need to do we just need to run our application on the browser so just switch to the browser and uh, run localhost 3000 and you will see that uh, it is showing you the home controllers index space okay now what you need to do that uh, you first make some better styles here so we will install the bootstrap here so just switch to the terminal again and uh, close the server and now in your sublime directory open the in your text editor open the gem file okay and into the gem file what we need to do we first we will add a gem that is gem css bundling rails okay what this gem will do that once you install the bundle it will allow you to install any of your preferred css framework like uh, Talvin, like bootstrap okay rollover whatever you want you can do so i'm going to use the bootstrap css so i will be just using that only so switch to the terminal now and run the bundle install and this will log the css bundling game into the project and now you need to run rails css install and then mention the package name so i want to install bootstrap so rails css install bootstrap okay it will install the bootstrap in your rails application which is a blogging app in our case for this project for now okay and after doing that what you need to do just run yarn build css okay so there is some error let me add this command to the uh, package.json first okay so here you can see you can see the uh, control uh, command line instruction here that uh, we need to add a script this one into our package.json okay so just copy this line and then open your package.json package.json and here you can write it here and just paste it okay and first make the word wrap here okay save this and now run yarn build css and this will lock this will generate an application.css inside the app uh, uh, assets and then builds okay so here you can see into the project so go to the app assets and into the builds you can see this application.css okay now just to check whether the bootstrap is worked or not into our project so what you need to do is start your rail server now again so rails server and then switch to the browser again and once you refresh the page you will see that this styling of the fonts has been changed and now you can see the bootstrap effect into your rails application okay and after this if you wish you can create headers and footer as well if you wish you can skip that part as well okay but i'm going to create a header and uh, header and footers here so first let's create a new directory into the views so i can create a new directory here that will be called as shared 
okay and inside the shared directory what you can do that you can simply add a file that is header header.html dot erb okay and now after creating this file just click switch to the browser and open the bootstrap 5 page bootstrap 5 and into the bootstrap 5 you can just copy the navbar from the components so just go to the components and copy navbar from here and you can copy any kind of navbar of your choice there are multiple so i'm copying this one and i will i paste here and here what i need to do that i just need to mention my app name here that is logging app okay and here i can just make it the root path okay and now i can remove rest of the links because i don't need it right now so i can remove the entire things from here okay or let's just uh, remove the drop down and other unnecessary links here okay so just uh, remove it remove it as well and keep this ul for for the first link and just remove this form okay save this and now render this uh, a uh, partial onto your application layout just to see this header on the browser so we can add here let's say render and then shared header okay save it and go to the browser and refresh your applications root page here you can see that this is showing me the navigation bar but here you can see that the color is a bit like the page color so i can change the styling of the navigation bar so what i can do here now bar dark and then bg primary okay and now when you refresh it you will see the blogging app and home links onto the navigation bar okay so our first part has been done that we generated the rail new rails application and we created navigation bar and home controller and set the custom root page here okay now in the next lecture what we will do that we will create a resource for our application and in that resource we will add a model using scarf folding and the model will be the plot post okay and we will create some post there and from the third lecture we will start uh, working with prong gem okay so just uh, do the basic steps of that we did in this lecture for creating a rails application so just do these steps at your end okay however i just roughly created the rails application and did not uh, explain the so much aspect of a rails application so if you want to learn more about that you can follow my uh, bootcamp playlist on the channel okay there are hundreds of uh, lectures that can help you to learn rails much better okay and we will meet into the next lecture by cre for creating a resource for our application okay so till then try this lecture at your end and we will meet into the next lecture till then tata goodbye take care and stay safe